Hello everyone, welcome back to Leading Age Live and the 2018 Leading Age Annual Meeting and Expo. The last time we checked in, an excited energy was flowing throughout this conference, and it's still in full force. This is a place for conversation, especially about issues facing older adults. In the wake of new legislation, leading age leadership and policy experts are driving dialogue at the Public Policy Power Panel. The annual meeting is a forum for ideas that are helping to change the culture of aging. Exhibitors like Hamilton Captel are empowering older adults and allowing some to have the option to age in place. When someone is unable to use the phone, they become socially isolated, and it's, again, it's very frustrating to not be able to understand what someone's saying and constantly asking someone to repeat themselves and hanging up the phone and not being clear of what the person's saying. And our solution really allows someone to read word for word and understand what the other person is saying and really, uh, in turn, hopefully prevents some of that social isolation that we see so much in this industry and empowers them to make phone calls independently without relying on someone else to help them. More of this forward thinking is on full display at the annual meeting's acclaimed expo. It's one of the largest gatherings of technology offerings and solutions for the aging services industry. Uh, you know, I've been to several of these. Uh, every time I walk into them, it seems like they get bigger and bigger, uh, more vendors, more opportunities, more innovation. Innovation is key in helping care professionals develop their career paths and deliver on their care promises. Integrated platforms are top solutions and providers like Point Click Care are sharing them here. We know, just like our customers, we're very concerned about the workforce situation. Um, we see the, the numbers and uh, knowing that we need a lot of net new caregivers in a very short period of time, we know we need to be a big part of that. We've started with that universal caregiver, that frontline caregiver that's responsible for all those different things that they drive, really putting technology in the palm of their hands and help the business uh, better capture all the services and care that they're delivering so that they can be successful as well. Companies like RLPS are helping attendees explore unique housing and community opportunities. We really see there is an opportunity to create urban environments for senior living. And why not do that? It keeps seniors connected to their community. It allows them to interact. And it, frankly, will become a much more affordable option. We've been developing this idea of, we call it the hybrid home, and it's the best of all the amenities you get in a cottage with the amenities of the apartment. So it's a combination of both, and we've seen that around the country just take off because it's different, it's unique, it's something people are looking for. The Expo also offers stirring reflections. On the stage, living legends like Joanne Prince are sharing achievements that are changing the world. The education sessions continue to be a must for attendees at the annual meeting. Strategies for everything from leveraging relationships and alternative financing are front and center. That was a fundraising uh, workshop I went to this morning. It was very informative. Actually, I met a few people that I actually know inside of there as well. Um, and it was great. I learned a lot. Actually, I'm looking forward to my next workshop. If you want to give back to the community, you come in here to get some education so that you can improve what's happening, quality of life. Very important for our older adults. The education venues are helping attendees hone their focus. Groups like Varsity are also offering attendees customized consulting and marketing services. Part of our challenge is to help our customers seek out those concepts and ideas that will foster a uh, maybe a different message to the consumer, um, but also offer a different living experience. We really believe that consumers today are looking for a habitat that will allow them to find purpose in life. And if attendees need to take a quick breath while taking everything in, they can take part in on-the-spot wellness breaks happening throughout the conference. In today's climate, attendees want to think differently and find new ways to amplify their voices. Organizations like Yardi are providing advanced marketing services and new apps to communities. 
Yardi is an app-driven company, so we want to we want to make sure that the care staff is actually out with the residents and not behind their computers. So we have role-based apps, everything for marketing and tracking prospects to tracking your care, and even a family and resident portal that family members can log on and make payments for, via credit card or ACH, and even do that through an app. A hot topic continues to be engaging the next generation of industry leaders. Undergrad and grad students have been invited to attend under the Leading Age Annual Meeting Student Program. They can take part in the Career Path Program, meet with mentors, and attend keynotes. I think that a lot of people don't want to get into senior housing because they want to go work for Facebook or LinkedIn and it's not super sexy, but I think that they're doing a great job at getting the word out, at creating an environment and networking opportunity for younger adults that are just coming out of college or um, looking for a career path. Leading Age once again inspires with speakers like the renowned photographer Annie Leibovitz. Annie shares how she captures the beauty of aging, and she encourages attendees to share stories that will challenge perceptions and open minds. I particularly love how she talked about the story in between the story and what happens in the middle of big events. And I thought it was so timely in the relation to our work and taking time to slow down and appreciate those personal moments that we have with those that we care for. The Face Age Theater continues to captivate attendees here. And attendees are still sharing their memorable takeaways with hashtag LeadingAge18 to keep conversations about older adults front and center. This has been a truly memorable convention. No doubt, attendees will be flocking to the 2019 Leading Age Annual Meeting and Expo in San Diego. I will definitely be there. This was my first Leading Age and I was so excited to be able to come and network with all different providers from across, across the country. So I'm excited that hopefully I'll be able to go to San Diego and continue growing the relationships that I've made here today. See you next year at the 2019 Leading Age Live.